Howdy do. Karen Adamski here with shamamama.com. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about this neat retreat that I have coming up in March. It's March 24th, 25th, and 26th. That's a Friday through Sunday. And this is a retreat where we will be spending time on sacred land. We will be staying at the land of Medicine Buddha. If you've ever been there before, you understand just how, oh my gosh, magical this place is. If you've never been there before, then I'm just super excited for you to be there because um, it's unlike any other place I've ever been. Uh, and it's just, it's a really sacred, magical place tucked away in the redwoods in Soquel, right near Santa Cruz. And we will be staying there. And what that means is you stay there overnight. You have the option to stay in a um, like a motel room. They have um, kind of a two-story lodging area there. Uh, and those come with bathrooms, private bathrooms. You could also stay in a yurt out in the woods. You could also stay in a tent out in the woods. Um, you could commute if you live locally and you just want to come in each day for the activities. You could do that. So there's lots of different options. And while we're there, and while we're staying there at night, nobody else is there. So this is a very um, safe and private retreat. It's not the kind of opportunity that comes up all the time. Um, so just the, just the fact that we get to stay on that land and, and be there um, with really nobody else around for uh, acres, that, um, that's worth it right there. So just going to this place is a retreat in itself. But then we have lots of neat things planned. Um, Tom Walsh is going to be there who uh, does Qigong. And if you've never done that before, don't let that scare you because it's just gentle movement that can be um, done by everybody, regardless of your physical abilities. It's something that you can benefit from and it's all guided. We'll have some painting uh, going on, guided painting, um, like meditative painting, and that will all be focused on Buddha or whatever Buddha means to you or whatever that sacred land at the time means to you. Whatever is going on, we're going to um, gonna paint um, and go on a journey with paint individually. And that is going to be a really neat process for you. All of your meals during this retreat will be included. Everything is prepared on site uh, by the staff at this retreat and the food is amazing. It's all vegetarian, very healthy. Having this nourishing food prepared for us uh, during the retreat is also another really wonderful opportunity. For a few hours during the day, the hiking trails at this venue are open to the public. But other than that, the entire place is ours. And at night, there's a gate that's locked. So like I said, it's a safe place. It's a safe place emotionally. It's a safe place spiritually. It's a safe place physically. It's a safe place. It's a place where you will heal. It's a place where you will grow. And it's a place where you're gonna have fun. Buddha loves everybody. This is a retreat for everyone. You don't have to be Buddhist. Sometimes the name, Land of Medicine Buddha, um, I think scares people away because they think they need to be Buddhist to go there. And that's not the case. This is land that is open to everybody. The Land of Medicine Buddha has a number of trails throughout the sacred forests there. So depending on your physical uh, level, there is something there for everybody to explore. But you may come across prayer wheels. Prayer wheels that are taller than you. You may come across a gong out in the forest or a temple or a Buddha statue that has um, merged itself with the tree and they're now growing together. Everywhere you look throughout this land, there are little treasures to be found. So hiking and just wandering during this um, time and letting yourself ground, that's what this retreat is all about. And if you choose to walk through the forest with some guidance, 
My magical friend, Julie Smiley, will be on hand at one point during the retreat. Um, so there will be different opportunities for you to um, take part in if you choose. It's really all up to you. There will be lots of uh, magic to be had, lots of grounding to be had, lots of coming together and healing and creating friendships. And like I said, this is going to be a very, very safe place. If you've never meditated a day in your life, it's okay. We will guide you through some meditations. And if you are a seasoned meditator, you're gonna rock out on this retreat. And there's no need for fashion on this retreat. Fashion means nothing on this retreat. Comfort means everything. So just pack some layers so that you're prepared for all kinds of weather. And other than that, you can pack pretty light because all of the bedding is included, all of the supplies are included. So there's not a lot for you to bring. It's pretty simple. And if you're saying, yeah, I'm not an artist. Well, uh, number one, yes, you are. Everybody is an artist. And number two, I'm going to guide you through the painting part, um, regardless of your artistic ability or level. And you know what? If you don't want to paint, you don't have to paint. This is a retreat where you get to do whatever you want with your time. So if the mountains are calling, reserve your spot now so that you're sure to get the accommodations that suit you best. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, just hit me up and I look forward to spending some good time with you in March. Many blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.